Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. This is a putting it all together video, which means I'll show you how to combine about a dozen of the techniques covered in earlier videos to create satisfaction survey data tables. So here's what our finished product's going to look like. This is a table showing the question, the N, or how many people responded to each question, and then a breakdown showing what percentage of people selected strongly agree, agree, disagree, and strongly disagree. This is the type of table you might add as the appendix in one of your reports, or maybe you'd, you'd use it as a handout at an upcoming meeting. So let's get started. Here's our data, and let's just scroll down to see what types of calculations we need to do. So first we're going to look at the ends. We're going to use equals count A to see how many people answered each question. Select the data right there, close parentheses, press enter. We can see 44 people answered. To do the blanks, we're going to type in equals count blank. Open your parentheses, select your range of data, B2 to B45, close your parentheses, press enter, and we know this equals 44, but we're going to just sum it up anyway, because it's a good habit to get into. Perfect. So to do the counts, we're going to see how many people responded to each question. We're going to use equals count if. And don't worry if I go through this a little fast, because there are plenty of separate videos covering just count if that you can watch slower later. So let's select our range here, use dollar signs to keep the 2 and 45 constant, comma. Our criteria is strongly agree. Use dollar signs to hold the A constant. Close your parentheses, press enter. We can see that 32 people responded strongly agree to question one. Since we use dollar signs, we can just drag this down to fill it in. And we're going to add this up. This should equal 44. Perfect. The valid percents are very, very easy. It's just some simple math. Equals 32 divided by the 44 people who responded to the question. And we're going to use dollar signs to hold the 56 constant. Drag this down. And let's change this to percentages. Right now it's on general format. Let's click on percentages. That's a little bit easier to read. Select this entire area. Drag it across. Perfect. So now we're trying to make this table that looks like this. So we're just going to copy and paste some stuff and do some housekeeping to add some borders and some colors. So here's where our table is going to go in this sheet right here. So let's take the question uh, headings right here, control C, click on A1, paste, paste special, values, transpose, OK. We'll just call this question. Now we need to get the ends. So we'll take this total row right here, control C, click on B1, paste, paste special, values, transpose, OK. Now we need the percentages, copy this entire area, click on C1, paste, paste special, values, transpose, OK. And we'll change them to percentages. Now let's just make this look a little bit prettier. Expand that, make this bold, gray, wrap our text. Uh, let's make it a little bit bigger there. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll make our rows a little bit taller. Let's center this. Uh, let's center everything actually, left and right and up and down. And let's just add in some borders to make it a little bit easier to read. And maybe some, some borders going across the rows to make it a little bit easier to read that way. Well, there we go. I think we're all done. That well, pretty much matches. I mean, you can have the rows as tall or as short as you want. So there you have it. If you'd like to learn more, check out emeryevaluation.com. Thank you very much.